Hi Virgo, welcome to this reading. This is for Virgo Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. Okay, already to me, Pile 1, Group 1, it looks like a yes. And it looks like your person is holding off on saying something in particular to you or maybe just reaching out to you full stop. So let me put this page of cups here. So I feel pile one, group one. The answer is a yes. Your person actually really does truly think about you. And um, I'm seeing they have these very fond feelings, um, pure intentions here. At least there's definitely a part of them. Oh my God, look how much they want to talk to you. Knight of Swords reverse. There's definitely a part of them um, that feels very almost childlike, vulnerable when it comes to you. You know, no matter how many heartbreaks they've been through, no matter how old they are, they just feel that they want to be innocent with you. We have the um, Nine of Wands that fell on the floor. Okay, what else, please? <clears throat> Ten of Cups reversed, Hierophant in reverse. Could be dealing with a Taurus. Maybe you're a Taurus. Knight of Cups on the back. My goodness, pile one. Please never doubt again. Your person thinks about you a lot. In fact, they think about how happy they that you make them, how happy they could be with you. So you might be saying, well, why aren't they with me then? What's holding them up? It looks like fear. I feel this is someone who is afraid of... of exposing their feelings i don't know if in the past that they've had that used against them um they could be saying i'm i'm not in alignment with the idea of commitment whether i'm afraid of it whether i don't want it right now maybe their idea of commitment um they think it's somehow a bit unconventional or something like that but um I don't feel this person's trust, trusting their intuition either because I think they're intuitively being guided to speak and actually it's becoming a real urge, a real need to communicate something with you but they seem to still be a bit fearful, a bit on the defensive even and I don't think it's because of anything to do with you. You can see this person's looking over their shoulder. It's like your person's looking into the past saying, well, you know, last time I was open, I got hurt. Yeah, look, five of wands in reverse. This could be someone who keeps themselves um, a bit separate from other people. And even if they don't, even if they're in like a big crowd of people, it could just be that no one really actually gets to know them, truly. This person has a very good mask or something like that. Temperance in reverse, Sagittarius, queen of wands in reverse. We have the queen of pentacles. Yeah, I mean, okay, hold on, I'll get there. Um, five of cups in reverse. Oh, two of cups. So essentially two of cups twice, because when this is in reverse, we're focusing on the two cups that we weren't looking at before. Oh my goodness, pile one. Wow, it's so clear. Yes, your person thinks about you. They're in love with you. They see you as their person. For some of you, your person could already be in a marriage or a long-term commitment. Now, the marriage itself, the commitment itself, does not look like it's very harmonious. It doesn't look like it's working very well. And I think until your person met you, they probably had given up. They just closed down their heart space and you really turned things around for them. But the, whoever this other person is, their spouse, their partner, I don't think that person seems to be intending to let go. That person might not even be aware that the marriage or the relationship isn't working, that your person has fallen in love with you, you know? Um, so this other person seems to be oblivious or they fully intend to hold on to your person. So you may know which it is. Um, if it's not that, if your person was with someone in the past, that possibly wasn't the greatest experience and that's why they're feeling a, d a bit defensive or maybe it could be like a parent um that's getting in the way or work that's getting in the way but there seems to be something here um that your person isn't happy with and you have just come into their life and you've reinvigorated them your person is absolutely desperate to say something to you to communicate with you to tell you how they feel and it's actually really messing with their sense of grounding of balance temperance in the reverse also if it's been a long time coming, your person is saying, I'm tired, I'm really tired of waiting, I'm frustrated, I need to tell you this, I need to tell you how happy you make me, I know we could be happy together. Also, Queen of Wands in reverse, you know, I see you as so desirable, um, and I know I haven't really been showing you that, because the Queen of Wands reversed can be someone whose confidence has been knocked, you know, someone who's wondering, do you even care? You know, when she's in the reverse, see how she's looking over here? It's almost like she's looking at this person saying, what is it you're so busy focusing on from the past? What is it that you're so afraid of? I'm over here and I'm wondering if you even see me. Maybe that's why you're watching this. So um, yes, absolutely, your person sees you. Oh my goodness, look under the Two of Cups. 
king of wands reversed. So you see, they see themselves as being the one for you, but both of these, um, the king and the queen are in the reverse. So there's not enough action happening here. Let me get a deck to clarify. Okay. Let's see what they're desperate to say to you. We have the two of cups here pretty much three times. It's in the temperance card, it's right here, and it's in the five of cups. So um, the feelings you have are very much mutual, you know, if those feelings are um, loving towards your person. Okay, knight of swords in reverse, temperance in reverse. Queen of Cups reversed. If you have pulled back, um, if you were very, very nurturing before, very giving, very attentive, and now you're starting to invest some of that energy into yourself, your person has definitely noticed and it's kind of making them panic. Six of Wands in reverse. The Hierophant. Wow. So um, they might be thinking that they are losing status in your eyes or they're losing their position in your life because you're interested in some sort of next step we're not saying you know you want to move in and get married tomorrow but maybe you just want some sort of grounding here or to take the next step or a slightly higher level of commitment based on you know from wherever you are right now um we have we do have taurus twice here um so I think your person is, is feeling a bit panicked about that or a bit stressed. Maybe as well, two queens next to each other. There might be a decision that needs to be made. You know, um, I do feel in the, in the past they haven't perhaps treated you as well as they could have or shown you how much they valued you. Um, you may have seen them putting in tangible time and effort with this queen of pentacles. Um, and I think that's definitely something they regret now. I'm seeing on the back of this deck, we have the King of Cups. So it's like every time you come out, they follow. So we have Queen of Wands, King of Wands, Queen of Cups, King of Cups. I feel there's an energy here of this person almost chasing you saying, no, I'm the one, I'm the one for you. But they're still not opening up. Tell me about this Nine of Wands, please. The magician so gemini they could be trying to manifest you um whether consciously actively manifesting or they could be manifesting through um thinking about you quite a bit um you know the the emotion the energy they're emitting because they have lots and lots of emotion here for you um we have the queen of coins i wonder if they're also trying to manifest a tower moment a way out of whatever this is over here could also be someone for some reason i'm hearing an elder this probably won't resonate for many of you but like an elder in their family who's very strict around religion perhaps or tradition and they're really pushing it on your person your person's kind of saying i need to, to step up and speak my truth but maybe it will be disrespectful or it's very difficult for me no one in my family has spoken this way before to this person that to say that you know i'm i'm stepping outside of, of the religion or the tradition or you know there's, there's something here your person needs to get themselves either away from or they need to break something off. They definitely need to speak to you. Yeah, look, four of coins. <laughs> and what are they hiding? Two of cups. The two of cups here is reversed. It's like they know the more they, they hold on to these feelings, the more they keep them to themselves, the more they kind of push you away and, and possibly miss this chance with you. So yeah, pile one, group one, your person thinks about you a lot. And what do they think? That they want to be with you, that they should have behaved better in the past, that they want to tell you about their feelings now. And also, I feel they just want you to know, you know, if nothing else, they just want to say you have awakened me you have reinvigorated me you have really helped me to come out of this heavy morose energy where i had given up you know this person's wearing like um a long black cloak of mourning here you know i've i'm mourning something i'm mourning maybe um the past or, or my life when i used to enjoy it and i've just accepted it's how it is but you've really changed things for this person you've made them see there's still hope okay so I actually think what we should do is maybe get some messages to you from your person. So I'm just going to grab that deck. Okay, so I have two. So Spirit, what messages does this person have, please, for my group one, for my pile one? Okay, 
little message. Let's just tell us some half. A lot of signs are pointing to you lately, and I'm not surprised to see that. I, you know, I think it's um, almost like a, if we have a look at this magician, we have the infinity sign. So it is constantly going around and around, and I feel like there's something similar happening with your person right now because they're feeding so much energy into you, thoughts of you, um, wanting to communicate, they're drawing in signs and confirmation. Um, I also feel that the signs they're seeing are then pushing them even more to say, yes, you know, speak your truth here. We have you've affected my life significantly and you really have you've helped your person to um to not you know to not give up so soon i don't oh, i don't care how old or you know young they are i just think you know what why are you giving up and that's kind of how they felt and that's how they feel now you know like wow i was about to just give up and accept how things were i'm sorry i couldn't do right by you yeah, that Queen of Wands in reverse, someone who has not been um, appropriately, <sighs> appropriately treated, but what I was hearing is appropriately received. So I don't know if for some of you, you visited this person, or they invited you somewhere, or you bumped into them somewhere, and the way that they received you was perhaps a bit less than gracious or they could have done better or they could have been kinder or something like that i still remember the good times we shared okay so for those of you who maybe um you know made some memories together they do think about you they do think back they do remember i've looked you up online to see what you've been up to that doesn't surprise me at all I don't know if I'm cut out for this. Yeah, it's like you've woken them up to see there's something better. And now they're saying, can I make the change that's necessary to be in a position to have all of this happiness with you? Karma is a bitch. I finally got mine. And that is underneath. I'm sorry I couldn't do right by you. So um, whatever they did or didn't do, I think it came back to bite them in the bum. Um, especially if after whatever happened, Maybe it wasn't one particular thing, maybe it was a series of things and then eventually you just pulled back. Um, something's happened in the meantime to make them realise how it feels perhaps to have been in your position. I feel a special bond with you that I've never felt before and we know that, there's the two of cups everywhere here. Um, so absolutely, pile one in person does think about you and they're even trying to see what's going on with you now if they can't just ask you. They're trying to look you up, maybe to ask people. We have reunion popping out. We will always come back to each other. Yeah, I think there's a determination here now from your person, but in the past, maybe they took it for granted, you know, that you would always come back to each other and they didn't try hard enough. We have chemistry. I have never felt a passion this intense. And that's very similar to this card, isn't it? About this special bond. Irreplaceable, the way you love me can never be matched. Okay. Not even by this Queen of Pentacles. Um, inseparable, our love is always there despite the distance. I just saw third party making itself known. We have self-love. I am still trying to heal. Absolutely. You know, we had that nine of wands card out first. There's a defensiveness that they've always had that has absolutely nothing to do with you, but it has impacted this connection. And they understand that now, which is great. We have what's on the floor? Sabotage. I mess things, I mess the good things up in my life sometimes. Yeah. And they definitely have here. But you see how there's all this awareness now, which is great because then they can make changes. Okay, so I'm going to leave it here, group one. I hope this helped. Um, please have absolutely no doubt your person does think about you, that's for sure. And um, it's not even just, I'm sitting here, I'm thinking of you. There's a feeling of 
there's some action I want to take, there's something I want to say so that I can move this forward, so that I can um, you know, be with you or take things to the next level from wherever we are. So um, they're thinking about the past, the present, but also how to move this forward in the future as well. So quite an active um, energy here. Okay, so um, thank you so much and hopefully see you soon. Bye. Okay, so group two, does your person think about you? And if so, what is it that they are thinking? Spirit, does group two's person think about them? And if so, what is it, please, that this person thinks? <clears throat> okay, we have the King of Pentacles reversed, the Queen of Cups, the Fall in the reverse. We have the Six of Cups. Eight of Pentacles, the Hierophant, who made quite the appearance in Pile 1, uh, Nine of Wands, and the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. <laughs> Sorry, when I said he made quite the appearance, it made it sound like he was in Pile 1 flashing or something. <laughs> he just came out twice, that's what I mean. Okay. Let me see. <clears throat> Um, this feels like a connection that didn't quite get off the ground. It became stuck. There's a feeling of missed potential here. Pile two, group two, I think your person does think about you. Mostly what they're thinking is about the past. Lots of reflection here. It's almost like they're saying, we had this chance with the fall, um, but it never stood a fighting chance is kind of what I'm getting. Now, we'll, we'll look more into this, we'll unpack this. I don't know if this is a valid statement, or maybe your person was giving up before they'd even put in the fight, you know, to try and, and make this work. But that's what they're thinking. It's almost like we had a chance here. There was an opportunity, but it didn't come to anything. And I think they reflect on this a lot. We have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, ending the spread. Now, for me, that's a card where we haven't just got slow movement, we've pretty much got no movement at all. So your person might be looking at this connection as one that maybe is in the past. Um, or nothing here is changing. There's a sense of melancholy. Six of Cups is, you felt like home to me. I felt immediately upon meeting you that you were a kindred spirit. I almost feel that this person is saying, ah, oh, you know, it's so sad, we didn't stand a chance. But that kind of makes me feel a bit irritated because I think this is their energy over here. King of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. It's like they were doing the most, but in a whole other direction. So if they had only applied some of this focus, diligence and effort towards you and your connection, it would have stood a chance, is almost what I'm seeing. And I don't feel, oh, it's over. It, it, you know, we had our chance. It didn't come to anything. It's so sad. I think the the emotion is still here from, from both of you, Six of Cups. So it could be revived or it could be moved forward at any point. I think it's about your person's mindset here. We have strong Taurus energy. We have Aries and Aquarius. Let me see. What is going on? Yeah, Page of Cups in reverse. So maybe this person didn't speak their truth. Maybe this person, um, for them going into this Page of Cups energy is just a no-go. They're the King of Pentacles and that's that. I just want to say also, if you were drawn or felt guided in some way towards Pile 1, there could be more messages for you there because we have some overlapping cards. Um, I just think they were, this is someone who when they want something, they make it happen, which may have left you in the past feeling like, well, I guess they don't want me then because they're not putting in effort towards me. Let's see what's going on here. See, two of cups. With the hermit in reverse on the back. So you may be saying, yeah, when this person wants something, they go for it, they make it happen. The feelings here are 100% mutual. And I think they're very much still alive in both directions. Queen of Cups, please, with the Hierophant in reverse. We have the Empress reverse. We have the Nine of Cups reverse. So if there was someone else, like the mother of a child, the father of a child, a long-term partner or something like that, or even an interfering parent here, 
Your person could be saying, that's why I couldn't put effort in. That's why I couldn't make a commitment or, you know, um, show up in this connection. And you might be saying, well, that's that feels more like an excuse than a reason. There's something here in which for your person, it's like, from their perspective, there was a block. There was a complete, um, there was a limitation. There was There was like this red flashing light that was saying do not enter you know you, we cannot take this further it's a no-go and you're saying well it was an obstacle it wasn't the be all and the you know that it will i just felt there's a sense your person gave up too quickly or there, there would have been a bit of um you know climbing up a hill to for you both of you to get this off the ground or to, to take it to a higher level of commitment there would have been a bit of a fight needed but it's like your person didn't show up for that fight maybe you were here ready to go it would have been both of you together united pushing back against any obstacles any other people's opinions whatever it was i don't know if this person even realized that they have the strength within them yeah nine of pentacles eight of cups reversed Four of Swords. So maybe they made the decision to fall back into focusing on themselves um, because they perceived a blockage or a struggle here or gave up too quickly. And now they regret it. Four of Swords in reverse. I think they lose sleep over this. There really is a sense of we had, we could have had a chance here. We did have a chance, but it was over before it began. And I just want to like, you know, politely slap them around the back of the head and say, there is still a chance if you can politely do that yeah eight of wands in reverse all we need here is someone to maybe speak um speak up or to to reconnect or to send a message or to just take some kind of action we, we need movement here you know this knight of pentacles in reverse it's stagnant things have become stagnant yeah ace of pentacles reverse the sun i mean so Leo energy there, but there is still so much potential here for growth. If we think of that pentacle as like a seed, you plant it, the sun comes out, great. Lots of abundance, lots of fertility. So pile two, your person thinks of you, but it's almost like a reflective energy. Whereas I feel it doesn't need to just be that. There, There is still very much potential here. Oh. Let's see what else. Yeah, Six of Swords reversed. So I don't know if you're dealing with someone who's quite, um, you know, they ponder quite a lot on the past or they struggle to let go of things and move forward. We have the Hanged Man in reverse, Ten of Wands in reverse. Yeah, it looks like your person's getting weighed down by something they perceive to have gone wrong or an ending or a blockage. Um, the Spirit's saying it's all about changing their perspective. The Hanged Man asks us to take a time out and to see something in a new way. Okay, we have the Queen of Coins, the Tower, and the Page of Coins. So we have Scorpio energy here. It could be that your person, two things I'm seeing. They could be saying, um, I'm waiting for a Tower moment to come in to free me from this, this Queen of coin, Coins, this Queen of Pentacles figure, so I can make an offer to you. Or it could be that Spirit's saying, we, we're wanting your person to see something differently. So we're going to bring in this tower moment, which can be, it doesn't have to be a change of circumstances necessarily. Initially, it can be like a moment of awakening, understanding and epiphany, which then leads your person to say, oh, maybe I have been giving up too soon. Maybe I have been looking at this wrong. Maybe there is still a chance here. If there are, you know, if there are other people involved, if there are children involved, maybe your person was saying, there's absolutely no way, I cannot leave my family behind, it will devastate my children. And now they're saying, well, maybe I could just try and do this in as careful a way as possible. Because maybe, you know, maybe I'm, if I'm in this situation and I'm miserable, that's rubbing off on them, so that's not good either. You know, something like that. But yeah, let's look at this tower. 
the chariot in reverse i think there's going to be something that happens to get your person moving four of cups it's like the universe is saying you've been a bit complacent here you've been giving up too soon you still have this opportunity in front of you and we need you to see it yes maybe you've got a lot going on but it's perfectly within your um you know range of ability here or your, your ability to get a grip on all of these moving parts and to move yourself forward okay so let's see what messages they have for you so spirit can you please share with us the messages in group two's person pile two's person please So do they think about pile two? What do they think, please? Yeah, look at this. Indecisive. Absolutely. Chariot in reverse. Cancer energy. Not reverse, just the chariot. Um, I know my inability to make a decision hurts you. Yeah. And I think it's that they have disempowered themselves very quickly. It's like this person disempowered themselves and said, oh, there's a blockage. Oh, well, I guess that's that. You know, and now they're realizing, well, that was a bit premature reveal i want to tell you the truth mm. missed opportunity you see i didn't act when i should have yes and maybe there has been a missed opportunity here but it doesn't mean there can't be another opportunity in fact i feel that the opportunity is still here oh i don't know where it's gone oh here with the four of cups you know are they going to take it or not broken i feel shattered about this situation you see all this it's very morose oh you know unexpected outcome things didn't go the way i planned yeah absence i feel like a part of me is missing without you third party there were other things that got in the way of us being together and i don't think that's a surprise to you at all um and you see see the phrasing of that there were other things that got in the way of us being together it's almost like i had no control it's a very passive energy isn't it where a spirit wants your person through the hanged man position to see there are other things there might be a third party person energy maybe both of those things third part third energy sort of in terms of a perspective but spirits wanting your person to say i'm not i'm not a passive participant here you know i can do something about this third energy or this third person. I don't just have to accept the situation. I'm sorry I couldn't follow through with my promises. Gosh, so maybe they actually said things like, yes, we'll move this forward. I'm gonna leave that person or yes, I want to commit. And then they became scared or something like that. I wish I could take back the things I said is it possible to forgive and forget? I got spooked. Yeah. Wow. I miss you regardless of how things seem. So yeah, they do think of you. They do miss you. The Six of Cups can be longing for a reunion as well. Songs are speaking to me. It might be a nice idea if you have like a playlist to hand to set the intention, you know, what's this person's message to me through a song and see what comes up. It's easier to just stay away right now. Yeah, and I don't mean this in a rude sense, but I feel that maybe in life your person has tended to take the easier route when it comes to perhaps um, relationships. I mean, that's what I'm sort of looking into here. So I don't know about the other areas of their life, but um, yeah, maybe for them the easier route was conforming to what friends wanted or thought or did or expected what family wanted you know um not following their heart and being with someone who was a different age or from a different background or do you know what i mean um because i, I feel there's a sense they just gave up the fight before they'd even begun and they regret that now <laughs> see if i knew then what i know now i would have made different choices yeah, hundred percent, and it it just feels like they're being a bit sort of defeated, and it's not over yet. But that tower moment's coming in to get them to realise: stop giving up too soon. You know, you're stronger than you think you are. Okay, so I will leave this here. Thank you so much, Group Two. Hope it helped, and hopefully see you soon. Bye. 
Okay, so pile three, group three, let's have a look and see, does your person think about you? Do they actually really think about you? And if so, what is it that they think? Keep seeing the star, so we could have an Aquarius here, also a Libra. Okay, so spirit, for pile three, for group three, does their person think about them? We have death, Scorpio. So there could have been a painful ending here. Or a painful transformation that your person perhaps has been going through. Maybe it was unwelcome to begin with. Oh my God, I've never seen before in this card, on the label it says everything expires. Jeez. <laughs> so maybe that, you know, your person was quite sort of um, pessimistic in the past. They may have said, no, I'm just being realistic. And it, it is realistic, but it's also like, come on, we can choose what we focus on, you know. Okay. So does this person think about pile three? Nine of swords reversed. Does this person think about pile three? Five of swords. You know what I'm getting already, pile three, is that yes, your person does think about you, but I think they try not to sometimes. It's almost like they, these thoughts of you feel like they're invading your person sometimes. And I think the reason they try not to is there's some pain attached to these thoughts. We'll see, we'll go deeper, we'll find out why. We have judgment. We have the three of pentacles. Oops. Uh, three of wands reversed. Eight of Cups in reverse and the Hermit in reverse. Virgo energy. What's on the back? The High Priestess reversed. <sighs> okay. I think the reason that this person sometimes doesn't want to think about you is because of the pain. And the pe they feel pain when they think of you because the first thing is they long for you. Eight of Cups reversed. Maybe they walked away. Maybe there is distance between you and they just, they cannot help but feel this connection to you. Even if they have tried to pull themselves away, they cannot escape the fact that you feel like the one for them and they, they just know they're the one for you. I also feel that this person puts lots of heavy judgment on themselves. So they might say, I can't do this because of that. I can't do this because that person will say this or this will happen if I do that. But it's kind of imagined. It's maybe them projecting things onto potential outcomes or other people. So I think they think about something in their head, decide, well, that's what will happen, fact, and make a decision based off of that. Whereas it's not a fact and actually the decision they're making is not coming from their heart space. It's them projecting, it's them trying to be analytical. And I think they've made wrong decisions here with you. At least they feel that they're wrong and they have a sense of regret. They have a sense of longing for you, but also they're saying, well, everything expires. It is what it is. Um, I think they're limiting themselves. The Three of Swords is reversed. They might be telling themselves that you're not going to come back around or that they can't get to you. Let me see. Um, let's take this deck. I mean, death, it's here. It's, you know, the, the writing is very bold. It's in red. It's just, and it came out first. So there's been some, at least from a person's perspective, some kind of ending here. Um, And it's almost like they expected it. I wonder if they did something that was a bit self-sabotaging, you know, because it's, it's this sort of self-fulfilling prophecy because they thought it would end. Maybe they thought it was too good to be true. Maybe they think, oh, everything in my life ends. Look how much love they have for you, King of Cups. This King of Cups energy does not align with this energy of pessimism or realism, depending on how you want to look at this that I'm seeing. So this feels like someone who, during the course of their life, they've become a bit jaded, perhaps from past experiences, being wounded, if they're an extra sensitive person, and I don't mean just like, I don't mean like overly emotional, I mean very sensitive and receptive to energy and, and what's going on around them, but that wasn't nurtured, that can be very painful, that can create a real divide in a person, and I almost feel like maybe that's what happened here. Now when they met you, this side of them that perhaps was repressed, wasn't seen, wasn't nurtured, this very... Um, maybe expressive, sensitive, um, perceptive, empathic side was nurtured, was seen and connected with you. 
So that was in direct opposition to what they've been doing perhaps for a lot of their life or maybe for many years now, which is being analytical, shutting that side down. So they're kind of at war within themselves. And that's why thoughts of you can seem painful to them and problematic, even though the thoughts are coming from a place of love, of desire. So your person essentially is rejecting a part of themselves. And of course, that's going to be painful. So they're not blaming you. They're not saying, oh, I hate you. I don't want to think about you. I hate these thoughts. It's like they're saying, I love you so much. I want to be with you so much, but it really pains me to think about this sometimes. The High Priestess. And look, we have these two cats, one white, one black. So it's like, you know, the yin and the yang. And I feel that that's how they feel with you. That maybe in some ways you're very different, but you perfectly complement each other here. You know, three of pentacles, we work together incredibly well. This is a seamless connection. Energetically, we're just sort of like um, receiving each other, bouncing off of each other. And look, we have death again. And I think if you feel that kind of amazing connection with someone and it brutally ends in some way, or you just turn your back and walk away, that's painful. You know, you might feel it sort of physically. Yes, it's an emotion, but you, you can feel this sort of physical pain of that. Yeah, look, five of pentacles here. Wow. So if you felt pile three rejected by your person in the past, I do think it's a result of them rejecting themselves. We have the knight of coins in the reverse. Yeah, I do think they try and stop thoughts coming up. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, Sagittarius energy, Nine of Coins reverse, the Hermit in reverse. So if they um, ever attempted to look you up to see what you've been doing, um, I think they try and stop that. Sometimes I think they end up doing it, but I think they try not to do it too much because they could almost become quite obsessed with looking at what you're doing, you know, like having the page open all day and just refreshing it or something. There's a need for your person to go within and do some self-reflection, some healing, I think, even. On the back, we have Page of Cups reversed, which I feel is that part of themselves that's very um, open, innocent, intuitive, that they have squashed down. Let me get one for death, specifically. What's gone on here? What's happened? See? The devil. The devil came out in the reverse. Something very, very unhealthy, unproductive has happened. Um either to your person or they've had some kind of reaction to something that's not been healthy for them. There's there's a complete rejection here of a part of themselves um, that maybe in the past made them vulnerable or made them weak in some situation, but um, it felt so good. I'm just hearing, feeling, you know, it felt so good to be with you. Even if this is just talking to you, it's, it's so it's so it's so perfect it's so natural it's so healing and easy and fun i feel it's fun and um then there's panic you know because it's like my goodness this part of me that i've been trying to kill off death you know um is coming back to life ah let me reject this connection let me run away from it you know um could be a capricorn involved okay for now, it seems they're making the decision to try and avoid some of this inner reflection, some of this inner work. Um, I don't know how much longer they can carry on with this particular decision. I mean, how comfortable exactly does that position look? Not very. I think your person judges themselves a lot. You know, she's standing on the scales here. It's almost like she's saying, you know, have I, have I gained any weight? And she's forced to be in this position, so she can't even look away. So I don't think your person necessarily judges their weight, maybe, but I think they judge, they really judge this side of themselves that, that's joyful, carefree, happy, um, optimistic even. Nine of Swords reversed, we have that twice. Ace of Cups. Age of Cups in reverse. They love you. They know there's an opportunity here. They would love also to know and to see that there's an opportunity. Um, we have the Age of Cups reversed twice. I think there's a separation here. And um, they see you as their Two of Cups. I feel no matter how far they go, how long it, you know, it, it's been or how long it is, um, how many other people they're surrounded by, 
you will always be the yin to their yang or vice versa they will always feel in their heart space how amazing and connected they they felt with you and how amazing it was there's so much love here um but your person's rejecting that within themselves like someone who is maybe um at least with you in this connect connection they feel very hopeful very forward looking very optimistic but then they're trying to be this nihilist you know um and there's a need to transform maybe to let that go okay so spirit can you please show us so for group three pile three what are their person's messages for them today damage yeah we are both hurting from this oops mm. so yeah as i was saying remember when i was talking about the tearing apart and how that can feel very you know very physical here your person feels like there has been actual damage done um and yeah i imagine you are both hurting they're definitely hurting um but it doesn't need to be this way is how i feel so I hope they, you know, they can do the healing here. <laughs> Unfinished business, 100%. Um, we still have things to resolve and discuss. This is very much unfinished because they want to be with you. And I just, I do feel that there was, you know, an absolutely wonderful connection and suddenly something happened to just end this or somebody walked away. I do feel maybe your person Possibly as things were really just, excuse me, starting to get good. Maybe they completely freaked out and walked away. We have reflection. Being away from you has allowed me to gain clarity. I actually don't think that. I think the clarity is knocking on the door, trying to come in. And they're saying, nope, don't think about it. Don't think about it. It's painful. It's painful. Gossip. I'm afraid of what other people will think. And I don't necessarily think that's of you and your connection. I think they're saying, I'm afraid that other people will judge me if I'm happy. You know, if they're going to say I, I'm being silly or something like that. Mistakes. I wish I could right my wrongs. Daydreaming. I'm always longing for you. That's, yeah, a part of them is always longing for you inseparable our love is always there despite the distance yep um reciprocity i want to have equal give and take well that's a very hopeful message to end on you know maybe they will go into this hermit mode and see that that's you know that's something that can be aimed for moving forward that it's not it's not too late and it, it you know maybe initially it might be painful to think about this but they can move through that What other messages please for group three seeing you reminds me of the things i know deep down and that's not always easy to deal with yeah i just got caught up in the moment so i don't know what that's referring to exactly maybe you know um maybe there was a moment shared between you and then they pulled back and retreated and when you tried to say what happened i thought you know we had a nice time they try to push that away or minimize it or something and perhaps them getting caught up was them not judging themselves not putting down this shield you've been in my dreams and this is the thing if they're trying to control their thoughts about you during the day because of what their heart wants what their soul wants which is, which is you these thoughts are going to come up when they're dreaming and their guard is down it's painful for them because they're not honoring their truth they're not in alignment it's really hard for me to open up i'm trying to do the honorable thing i just think i don't know have they been shown or told that the honorable thing maybe that as they were growing up is to be okay i'm getting something very specific it's i'm sure it's probably quite specific let's say your person is from a family that struggled in some sort of a way financially or otherwise um and your person might feel that it's it seems disrespectful or inappropriate somehow for them to launch themselves into this happy carefree life where all of their needs are met 
you know, maybe they feel on some sort of level that that would be a betrayal or that would seem like they weren't respecting the struggles that their parents went through or, you know, their grandparents and that sort of thing. I don't know. I feel like your person's carrying a burden here. Um, it's almost like, no, I have to be, I have to have this mindset. I can't be the fool, you know, I can't go jumping into things and I can't be joyful. Like that's, it, that's what's appropriate. I shouldn't be almost like someone laughing at a funeral. That would be inappropriate, wouldn't it? There's something here about your person saying, I show up the way I show up because that's what I need to do. Um, it wouldn't be, I would feel like I was, you know, smacking my parents in the face if, I don't know, if I was happy. I, don't, that, I know that sounds so sort of strange, but, um, and of course it could just be their perception of things, but um, I don't know, take that if it resonates. I feel safer in the silence. Maybe like a sense of guilt. I feel bad if everything works out so well for me when those I've, you know, I've seen around me have struggled so much or if there are self-worth issues, why, why should I be so hopeful and think that this is meant for me or that I deserve this when I'm seeing everyone around me doing so badly? You know, that kind of a thing. And do you see how that thought actually comes from someone who is sensitive to those around them, someone who is very compassionate and loving. You wouldn't care if you weren't, but that's the side of themselves they're trying to disown effectively or have been trying to. Okay, I know I screwed things up and honestly have no idea how to fix it. And we have, I'm working towards a better future. I love that you've had two very positive cards in terms of messages at the end. You know, equal give and take, and I am working towards a better future for myself and for us. You know, I'm allowing myself to to hope, to hope that there's better out there, that um, I don't have to be so negative or so um, pessimistic or to shut myself down or to shut opportunities down. Okay, so pile three, your person does think of you. I think they try not to. I think they're, they're very split right now in terms of emotionally, they just want to be with you, but their head, something is going on that they're needing to work through that um, it's inflicting a lot of pain upon themselves. So I can imagine that that's probably leaked through into your connection and created some pain for you as well. I actually don't think this is over yet. I don't know if you'll be happy to hear that. I mean, of course you have free will and you can say it's over, but from your person's point of view, um, I do not see that it's over here. I do think they've got some work to do though. Okay, so I will leave this here. So thank you so much for watching. I hope it helped and hopefully see you again soon. Bye.